structural instability structural instability in the plasmid it involves the deletion addition or a rearrangement of the segments of the plasmid dna and this type of structural instability was uh, first time uh, observed in our chimeric plasmids chimeric plasmids uh, uh, are those plasmids that may be composed of uh, more than one copies of plasmids that are joined together so that uh, they are called as the chimeric plasmids and those chimeric plasmids they were able to replicate into two host organisms uh, like e coli and bacillus subtilis and uh, these uh, these chimeric plasmids uh, uh, were the first source where the structural instability in the plasmids uh, was noticed later on it was uh, observed that in addition to chimeric plasmids uh, some other segment of the DNA that uh, may belongs to uh, other type of plasmids or viral DNA or even chromosomal DNA they can also show structural uh, instability and this uh, structural instability that may be mediated by deletions of certain segment of the DNA it may be due to homologous recombination uh, at certain parts of the DNA and that may be called as uh, short direct repeats of the DNA similarly artificially constructed plasmids they have also shown homologous recombination and some parts of the artificial chromosome they are also shown to be deleted especially uh, on some sites that are called as uh, tandem uh, promoters so these are the uh, uh, factor like uh, homologous recombination uh, that may be involved in the deletion of certain parts of the uh, plasmid this is, but this is not the only reason of the uh, structural instability in the plasmid in addition to that even uh, non homologous segment of the dna they have also shown structural instability and different ways has been used to detect uh, such uh, deletion hotspots in the dna although ये जो होमोलोगस रिकॉम्बिनेशन है इसके बारे में कहा जाता है कि ये स्ट्रक्चरल इंस्टेबिलिटी में इन्वॉल्व हो सकता है ये प्रोसेस जो है लेकिन इसके अलावा सम अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द डीएनए दैट मे बी कॉल्ड एज इंसर्शन सीक्वेंसेस और आईएस सीक्वेंसेस और ट्रांसपोसोम्स दे कैन आल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस स्ट्रक्चरल instability uh, in the plasmids because it has been noticed that these transposons are is sequences uh, they have been uh, involved to, uh, to introduce addition deletions or even uh, inversion in the plasmid dna and some part of the uh, chromosomal dna they have been shown to be integrated into the plasmid dna and introducing structural इंस्टेबिलिटी uh, अब हमें ये आइडिया है कि चंद एक फैक्टर्स हैं जो कि प्लाज्मिड में स्ट्रक्चरल इंस्टेबिलिटी को इंड्यूस uh, कर सकते हैं लेकिन इसको मैनेज कैसे करना है uh, इसके लिए साइंटिस्ट ने uh, काम किया है और डिफरेंट uh, जो रीजन्स हैं या डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स जो हैं uh, वो सजेस्ट किए हैं कि जिनको कंट्रोल करके स्ट्रक्चरल इंस्टेबिलिटी को लोअर किया जा सकता है लाइक like, एक सिंपल सी रीज़न ये है कि अगर जो एक्सप्रेशन है क्लोन जीन का उसको मैनेज किया जाए ताकि जो मेटाबॉलिक बर्डन है सेल के ऊपर वो मिनिमाइज हो तो उससे भी जो स्ट्रक्चरल इंस्टेबिलिटी है उसको कम किया जा सकता है इन एडिशन टू दैट बाय कंट्रोलिंग द कॉपी नंबर ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर रिकॉम्बिनेंट प्लाजमेट इट कैन ऑल्सो फेसिलिटेट Uh, to reduce the structural instability in the recombinant plasmids